Hello everybody, Dave Shaw here, gonna give an update on the on the bomber back here. Uh, 54 Bombardier R25. I don't know what R25 stands for. I I think I've heard that the R series means metal body. Uh, you know the earlier ones were wood body. This is a metal body rig here. Metal body started in the early 50s I think early or mid 50s early 50s this is a 54 and it's a metal body and I, I, I guess I just don't know R25 though I don't know if it means uh, two in the front five in the back maybe I mean that would work real easy actually you could fit a lot more than five in the back you probably put seven, eight in the back. I don't know. I don't know what it stands for. But it's an R25, 1954. And I'll uh, catch up a little bit on some of the things we've been working on. I'll flip this camera around. Okay, we got a couple of headlights on. Our, our bumpers were on before, so that's not new. A um, couple of headlights are back on. Nothing really new in here. I guess... I guess a little bit we've been working on wiring harness stuff here we've got our standalone harness uh, we've got a grommet we drilled through up here our computer is going to be on the top side up in the interior keep the computer and all the relays and controls and stuff as dry and warm as we can keep them this looks like a mess in here it's not as bad as it looks some of this stuff is uh, this is old leftover wiring from previous, but um, <clears throat> we've got our our main harness in here. Our coil packs are back on. Spark plugs are back in. Uh, we've got our uh, O2 sensors are finally in. The wires barely reach. The wires are short because our manifolds are in backwards. They you know, of course they would have been back here in a normal vehicle application. Um, we've got some coolant hoses here. So I think we have our coolant hose thing all ironed out. Um, we had to get an adapter to go from an inch and a quarter output on this water pump. Here's our adapter that steps us up to an inch and a half. And we got this goofy hose here that gets us over to our uh, radiator. Um, we've got an eighth inch threaded port here for the steam port line. This is the line that goes underneath the intake manifold up here. This is, I don't know, I think it's known as steam port. Um, I don't really know what it does. My guess is it maybe helps bleed air out of the system. I don't know. Uh, you can see where our exhaust gas recirculation, the EGR, used to be. And that's capped off. Uh, the EVAP that was up here is gone. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, get out of there. Leave my bearings alone. Mabel. She thinks she needs my wheel bearings for some reason. So, wiring harness looking pretty good, pretty complete here. I think the only thing I still need to hook up yet is uh, this guy, the mass airflow sensor, which is one of my last puzzles or problems we look up in here this is our intake throttle body here is a four inch inlet and uh, I don't have much room here I, I'm gonna have to build like a periscope box to go up this direction and back and then mount the air cleaner back there and try to fit the mass airflow sensor in there somewhere that's probably some of the stuff I'll work on today. Um, 
The radiator shroud here is ready to go. I don't have it in there right now. I just have the radiator in there just for test fitting the coolant hoses. Um, I need to finish up some uh, transmission cooler lines here. I do have a cooler. This is the cooler I'm going to use. And uh, this is a fuel tank I'm going to use. I'll clean it up a little bit, but 26 gallon factory GM pickup truck stuff. And uh, what we're doing is uh, last night when I left off, I was working on fuel lines. This is a braided flexible, uh, I think it's a 3 8 inch line into an AN fitting. And uh, at the end of the AN fitting, I've got a push lock adapter. So I'm um, 3 eighths out here. This will go. I've got the same kind of connectors that will be going up here. The fuel, fuel rails here, this guy and this guy, my supply and return. Um, on this system, I supply with the pump pressure from the tank. And there is a, it's like a vacuum actuated regulator, a factory regulator for the return line. So it's a, it's a supply and return system. This is my supply coming out from the tank. This is the return coming back to the tank. Um, the regulator up at the motor ensures the proper pressure for the injectors. And this is going to be my vent line here. So, um, we got a two inch filler neck here, and we're using this boat. This is like a boat style fuel cap. You just unscrew it, and it's got an O ring like that. So, that is, that is the plan. We'll have the fuel tank back here up on the top and we'll secure the tank probably with some eye bolts and uh, ratchet straps or something. So I don't know if there's really anything else to touch on. We've been waiting for a lot of parts to arrive. Bearings have been very difficult to get. Wheel bearings. I think I ordered from four different places so that I could get all of my races and my bearings and my seals replaced. Um, we do have some stuff in here for my suspension. I got my new chains and stuff here for my suspension cans. I got some tubes there. Um, these are the brass bushings that we're gonna use in place of the uh, needle bearings. So that's all I got for now. I'm going to get some work done and see if we can fire this motor up. Hopefully later today or tomorrow. Check with the guys later.